how's it going everybody so we did a night dive in Dawe. this is always a trip into some kind of dark psychedelic space you completely lose your visual connection to the topside world you're just in this dark space full of amazing animals so one of these animals we saw is a mantis shrimp and this is not the usual peacock mantis shrimp it's a different species it's a large animal about the size of the forearm of a small person that sits in this burrow which is dark in the sand what i thought was very curious is how it's moving its eyes and on top of that you see these dark spots i believe the term are pseudopupils and there's one on each hemisphere of the eye so there's actually an upcoming video which is exclusively dealing with uh, the vision and also the punching power of these mantis shrimps now this shrimp had enough of us after a while and went back into its burrow generally i think we are a bother i realize that uh, however i think we are mild bother to these marine organisms with our video lights so these are the anemone fish which during the day swim out and about the, the around the anemone they stick between the tentacles of the anemone at night we were only there for a minute or two so i hope the bother wasn't too bad these cleaner shrimp which populate the anemone actually were quite active at night so I, i'm sure all of these animals have diurnal rhythms but some animals which are active during the day are nevertheless still more active at night and uh, these shrimps seem to be an example of that so they were they were not trying to get away from the light they were just jumping around the anemone pretty much in, in a very similar way like during the day this is something really interesting i've only seen this once on this dive this is a sarcoclos and sea slug so it's a relative of the nidobranchs and guess guess what it's climbing around on this is a large sea cucumber now is this a mutualism are they is this uh parasitism is the slug you know, grazing of some of the mucus of uh, the sea cucumber i don't know it's really the first time i've seen this maybe it just went on its way and encountered the, the cucumber now it's very important there is a moral imperative whenever you encounter a sea cucumber you must do one thing and that is you have to film the butt of the sea cucumber or photograph so that's what i'm doing here i hope you're enjoying the view these are large animals probably 40 centimeters long and that uh detritus feeder so that they, they uh, sip through the sand for edibles now some fish sleep at night other fish hunt at night so this is a dwarf lion fish this is not the species which is an invasive species in the caribbean now this guy was going probably for small crustaceans you see a hunting a piece of hunting action here and these are quite venomous so the dorsal uh, fin spines especially of this fish contain a venom which will you know seriously swell up your your hands so it knew that i couldn't do anything to it so it essentially didn't make an effort to get away from me beautiful fish look at these dots on the pectoral fins i always enjoy watching this they, they swim very casually because you know obviously they're also safe from most other predators scuba divers is obviously not what they evolved to be safe from now this is a small damselfish a dastelos it's stuck in between the fingers of a hard course this is how many fish spend their night this is really safe and during the day they then you know feed on plankton around the coral now this fish this is a starry puffer it actually 
took advantage of my video light, I believe. So I did not have to approach that fish. In fact, it followed me around. It's not a very fast swimmer, but you know, even the, the slowest uh, fish are uh, faster than a bulky scuba diver. Mm. So I believe it took advantage of my video light to see what tiny crustaceans are in the sand, things like that. It has this huge belly. I believe that it's a she and she was pregnant. Now, it, she almost bumped into my camera's lens a couple of times. So that was a very friendly fish. You also see how dense the plankton is at night in down. So you see these particles and occasionally you see a worm you know, uh, swimming by. Yeah, here again, that's a very close encounter. And you know, that was not me moving. That was the fish coming towards me very curious, you know, highly intelligent fish, in my opinion, these puffer fish and trigger fish relatives. Yeah, I could have probably filmed her for another 10 minutes, but then we ended up discovering more interesting critters. So I left her alone. Probably it led to a major disappointment on the part of the fish. I am also speculating that at this point in a diving location like Darwin, they are fairly well habituated to dive. So these are long-lived animals and this is probably not the first time she has seen a diver or you know, even a night diver with a video light. So she would have learned that we are not that dangerous. This is a Toby, which is a smaller puffer fish and just like its larger cousin, it was quite active at night and it was not intimidated by my video light and instead it, it really wanted to check out what's in the area. Now, the sand in Darwin, especially in the shallower parts, is heavily populated by different species of this cardinal fish. They hunt there and we can see beautiful sand anemones. It's just catching a lot of shrimp and again I believe these shrimp were attracted by my video light so I, I really did the sand anemone a favor and, uh, you know, or you could also argue I killed the shrimp either way there's no question that you are as a human whatever you do even if you just shine a light you influence your environment so I hope you have enjoyed this and tune back next time Thank you.